Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So I'm actually in my new studio, which is not much different in terms of like the background because I'm still just using the detolfs. I think it works. I like the way it looks. So probably for the remaining of this year, I'm just going to go ahead and use the detolfs as the background. But I am in a new room, so it's a little bit echoey, I, I believe. But I'm going to put a little bit of like, you know, foam so that way it can absorb a little bit of the sound and I can try and make it a little bit less echo. And this video is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. If you want paint, figures, or tools, you can go ahead and click that link down in the description below and pick up some stuff for yourself. Now, once again, we're doing a Gundam Age review, and this time it's going to be on a figure, not a model kit. It's a little bit hard to come across the Age Robot Damashi figure line, but if you can find them, trust me when I say they are going to be probably one of the best Robot Damashis in your collection. I do have a large assortment of Robot Damashis, and I always love to just play around with the age line, but maybe it's just me being a little bit biased. However, I really just do think that they're amazing. Now today we're taking a look at the Robot Spirits Gundam Age One Normal. This is a really cool figure. I do love the looks of it. It's probably not everyone's cup of tea, but for me in particular, I just love Gundam Age, and having this more, I would actually say, anime accurate look because in certain scenes it does have a very elongated kind of like look it's very like stretched out uh, but that's because of like certain like scenes within the anime certain uh keyframes it, it has that look now this did come out in 2011 i think around like december time frame and i remember it coming out and it basically dropped down in price almost immediately like no one was buying this on the shelves i always saw it everywhere i went and i think roughly like a few months afterwards um it, it dropped down to like almost like 15 bucks each so i was just like well let me go ahead and collect the entire set because they were just giving them giving them away at that point now straight out of the box this is a good looking figure it doesn't have like a very large amount of surface level details like the high grade has. The high grade actually has really good details on it. And the master grade, of course, is going to have fantastic details. But the robot Namashi just takes a more simplistic look. It's smooth all around. There's like pretty much like no etched in parts, no kind of like panel lines or anything. So you, you kind of get a very blank looking Gundam. But be rest assured, this is a very, very solid looking mobile suit. Now for articulation, it actually has a large range of movement. One of the things I really do like about it is that the front like gauntlets, those can actually just rotate without having to take the whole front thing off and then replace it so that way you can have the shield out on the, uh, the outside or on the inside. So it's actually really cool that they do that with this. And then whenever you bend the leg, the knee is actually gonna have its own little individual articulation. Now for accessories, you are gonna get closed fists, you get open hands, and you get accessory holding hands. You also get the Dodge Rifle, which has its own little movement in the front. And you can also take off the front part so that way you can just have the beam spray pistol. And you can also pull out the handle so that way you can have the other hand grab on it and it can do a more like charge shot. You also have the shield, which can connect on the forearm, whether it's on the underside or on the side. You get two long beam saber effect parts, two beam daggers, some thruster effect parts, which looks amazing. And finally, a connection adapter. Now for comparison, it is basically a 1 in 144 scale, so it is going to be roughly around the same height as a high grade, but it's also going to be shorter than the massive grade, of course. Now for my final thoughts. Honestly, this is a really cool figure. I don't have any issues with it. Now, over time, it may loosen up because the one I have, uh, which is actually in the shelf, that one has a little bit of loose parts. But this one, I guess since it's been in the packaging, it looks like it might not have ever been opened. Everything is solid. The joints are solid. It's very stiff. It, it holds its poses very well. So I think it's just like you, you're going to have to reinforce the joints over time. Uh, but it may just be mine because I don't really know of anyone else that has any problems with their joints for their figures. Uh, but at least for mine, you know, I, I'm very happy even though that the hips and I think uh, the elbows are a little bit loose. So I'm still going to go ahead and say cop it. Uh, but if you are finding this for anything over like maybe 30, 35 bucks, you may have to watch it. 
Uh, but for you know all all purposes, this is definitely not a drop it whatsoever. You should get this if you're into Gundam Age or if you're just in the Gundam period. I think this is a really good figure to add into your collection. It's going to pull off some really stylistic poses, which, come on, who doesn't like that? But that's all from me. So thank you guys for watching. If you can, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And thank you to all the members who support this channel. Honestly, this channel wouldn't be anything without you guys and all your support. So thank you once again. But that's all from me. I'll be seeing you guys in the next Gundam Age review. Bye-bye.